welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the second installment of my everyday makeup basket, which is basically where I just went through my collection and I chose all of the items that I will be wearing for makeup for the next two weeks. Um, after this video goes up, I will also be filming a review of my favorite products of the last two weeks that I had, just so that you guys will know what I really loved and what I really fell back in love with. Um, I just thought it would be nice to go over my favorite things. So, without further ado, let's get into the items that I chose for the next two weeks. <laughs> I thought that I would go through the products as I apply them to my face. So the first thing that I do is I put on face primer. And the two primers that I chose, which are pretty much carryovers from last time, are the Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Under Makeup Primer by Laura Geller, which is just a mattifying, like, silicone-y feeling primer that I just put on like my forehead and down my t-zone and stuff and this stuff is really nice and then the other one for if I need any smoothing like if I have any dry patches I will use the Smashbox photo finish primer and like I said this is just a nice non-greasy non-oily type of primer for smoothing out any dry patches so those are my two primers <laughs> So for foundations these next two weeks, I actually have two options. The first one is mixing my Garnier BB Cream and my Revlon Color Stay. These are in my Project Pan, my 12 Pans of Christmas project. Um, and basically this is a little bit darker, not as much coverage, and this has like a medium coverage, but it's lighter, so the two of them together is perfect. And this is what I was using for the past two weeks. But I also have another option. I got a sample of the Amazonian Clay Full Cover Foundation in the mail the other day. And so this, I'm wearing that today actually. And so far I like it. It's got a decent amount of coverage, obviously. It's a full coverage foundation, so it means I don't need a lot. So this could be lasting me pretty well into December if I continue to use it at the rate that it's at. But um, yeah, it's a pretty good skin match, and I'll keep you guys updated as to how I feel about this. <laughs> next in my routine, I will go on to under eye concealing, and I actually have a new product for the next two weeks. And this is the Super Stay Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline. I haven't used this yet, but I bought it a couple weeks back, and I have yet to try it. So this is what I'll be using under my eyes to brighten, and then underneath that, I will put on the Pixi Correction Concentrate and Brightening Peach, and this is just one of those salmon tone concealers, and I'll put it into the corners of my eye just for any darkness that I have. And I was using the NYX HD concealer, and I really liked how that went over this, so I'm hoping that I like the combination of these two. And then I only have two under eye setting powders, which are my NYX HD uh, concealer in banana, and then my Tarte Smooth Operator powder, and this is just a loose, uh, translucent powder. And I just use these depending on what type of finish I want. This has more of a, like, natural finish, and this is a little bit more brightening, but I use both of these, you know, probably every other day, and that's what I'll be using. <laughs> After I set my under eye concealer, I will typically go in with my eye primer and I am still using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just a little sample that I got. I'm finding that if I don't mix it up, I get a lot of like liquid coming out before the actual product. So I know that it hasn't gone bad, but that's one thing that I've noticed over the past two weeks. But this, I'm just gonna keep using the same eye primer. So after I have gone in and primed my eyes, I will go on to my two eyebrow products. The first one is a new product for the next two weeks, and that is my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Blonde, or I believe it's actually Ash Brown. But it just has this tiny little uh, eyebrow pencil, kind of like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is what a lot of people compare this to. And then on the other side is a spoolie. And if I don't like the spoolie, I also have the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil that I can use the spoolie on that. And then after I have actually drawn my eyebrows on, I will go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. And this is just a tinted brow gel with 
some fibers in it and this just helps to lock everything in place. So these are my two brow products for the next two weeks. <laughs> For the next two weeks, I have basically one to two options for eye bases. The first one is my normal one, which is the color tattoo from Maybelline in Bad to the Bronze. This is just a nice taupey bronze shade, um, and I'll just put it all over the lid. And then if I don't feel like wearing a darker shade, I actually thought that I would pull out one of my ColourPop shat uh, Super Shock shadows, and this is the one in Oni or Oni. And it's just a cream, cream to powder shadow, as I'm told to believe. I don't know, I've never used these, so I thought that I would give the formula a try. And this is just in a really nice light color, um, so I thought it would be a nice contrast from the darker one. And like last time, I have three eyeshadow palettes. The first two are repeats, and I first have my Maybelline 8 Pan palette and this just has some neutral shades that I can use for like in the crease. Then I have uh, my NYX Natural palette which I will use this shade all over my lid to cover the dark brown so that if I want some lightness on my eye then it's not too dark from the beginning and then these are just some nice neutral colors. And then I thought I would try out a new palette. And for this next two weeks, I have my e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette. And I've never used this, but I thought, you know, it's going into the holidays. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up here in America. So I thought it would be nice to have some nice, fun, glittery shades if I wanted to just branch out from doing my normal matte looks. Because I do tend to wear a lot of matte shadows. So yeah, that is my e.l.f. Prism Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> Next I'm going to talk about all of my cheek products, so my blushes and my highlights. Um, for the next two weeks I chose two more cream blushes. What I'll typically do is I'll put on a cream blush and then a powder blush on top because I typically have a hard time getting powder blush on its own to stick. So I like to put on a cream blush underneath. So for the next two weeks I have two options. The first is a more nude option which is the Sonia Kashuk uh, Cream Blush in Blossom and this is just a nice nude, almost kind of peachy color. And then if I want something darker, I have the Maybelline Master Glaze uh, Stick Blush, and this is just really nice if I want more of a rosy uh, mauve or plum type of shade. I really, I like this, and I used it all of last winter, and it was great, so I'm glad to start playing with this again. And for powder blush, I have a couple of different options. The first one is the Master Highlight by Face Studio from Maybelline. And it's just this really nice mosaic um, powder blush. And you have some like gold tones, some champagne tones, and then the darker purple and mauve tones. So together it just makes this really nice shimmery sort of muted plum color. And I really like how this looks on the cheeks. And then the other option that I have, I thought I would take out my e.l.f. blush palette in dark. And this has, as you can see, a whole array of colors. You have like a light peachy color, kind of like that Sonia Kashuk uh, cream blush. There's a dark red with some shimmer. There's a plum. And then there's a bright pink in case I want some sort of pop of color. So I haven't used this yet and I really wanted to give it a shot so I thought I would take it out for the next two weeks. And for highlight I have three different options. The first one is the base that I put on before the powder highlight and that is my Benefit What's Up uh, sample highlighter and this I will just take and put along the tops of my cheekbones just so that the powder highlight has something to stick to. And for the powder highlight, I have two options. I, again, am using my Wet n Wild color icon in Reserve Your Cabana. This is technically a bronzer, but as we can all see, it is way too late. So this is one option. And then the other option for highlight, which is a new product to me, is my Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. This is just the little sample that they've been selling at Sephora. And I thought that this would be a really nice way to try out the ambient lighting powders. And I have been waiting to try this out for the past couple of weeks. And I thought, what better time than to try it now? <laughs> Next, I will go in with my setting products. And I have my talc-free mineral, mineral wear powder from Physician's Formula. This is in the shade Translucent. 
And then after that, I will set it all with the infallible makeup setting spray from L'Oreal. My eyeliners this week are the same as the last two weeks. And I have my Jordana Fabuliner, which is a felt tipped liquid liner in black. Then I just have my two eyeliners from Physicians Formula. They are just retractable eyeliners in brown and black. And then, last but not least, I have my charcoal eyeliner from Jordana. It is a 12 hour made to last eyeliner pencil. And it's just sort of a gel formula. And last but not least, I have my mascaras. Typically, I will choose one for lengthening and sort of priming, and then the other one I will put on top of it for sort of a more volum voluminous look and just sort of fanned out. So in the last two weeks, I was using the Mega Length from Wet n Wild, and this just has like a rubber bristle brush, and I would just use it for the lengthening portion. But this is pretty much on its last leg. I may get like a day or two out of it, but for the most part, this is probably going into my empties bin. And after that, I will start to use the Skinny Mascara from NYX, and this is new to my collection. And basically, it's just this tiny little wand, and I've heard it's a really good dupe for the IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara, and so... I really like the brushes that are really tiny that will just lengthen and will just sort of do that tight lining effect. So I'm really excited to try this out. And then for the fanning out effect that I like so much, I will be using the Falsies Volume Express. Um, this was what I was using for the last two weeks. I've really been enjoying it. And it just basically has this sort of curved brush um, and it just kind of nicely hugs the lashes and kind of gives them this fanned out effect or this flared effect as the name would suggest. So that is all of the products that I will be using for the next two weeks. Be on the lookout for my makeup basket in review video that should be coming up in the next few days where I'm going to talk about all of the items that I was loving in the past two weeks. And I will have another one of these makeup basket videos for you in the next two weeks. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you got this far. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!